Hey guys. So, um, I usually make, well, I've recently been making videos on, um, you know, the mind and etc. and different, um, you know, just some different ways, ways that our minds are wired up, I guess, and um, just to understand a little bit more around why they are and uh, whether that can be, you know, either a, a helpful thing or not so helpful, you know, in your particular situation. I guess that's the reason behind making these videos is just to uh, to share a lot of these insights that, that I guess um, in my particular situation and, and, and my perspective, um, you know, to look at the uh, the bigger picture, um, and just to break a few things down, break a few of those, uh, you know, a lot of those negative uh, belief systems down. You know, the ones that can hold us back uh, from 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 reaching our full potential. And I guess that's that's a lot of the reason um, why I feel. Um, a strong urge to, to make these videos for you guys and and share not only just the uh, the practices that I've put in play in my own life and um, you know on, on an energetic level and 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 just the the reality of um, some of those deeper concepts of understanding that we we don't really widely touch on um, because it you know, it might be taboo or it might be um, considered or judged by by ourselves or by others as weird or, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. At the end of the day, you know, these, we are all individuals, we are all unique and we are all, we have been um, on, a, on a larger perspective born to be unique, to, to shine, to, um, <clears throat> To show our, our, uh, you know, unlimited selves, to show our our best selves, to show our authentic selves, you know, to to bring forth the ideas that are, you know, they've been sitting there and you've been scared to maybe show those ideas or those, those parts of yourself or um, because of X Y Z reasons and a lot of the times those reasons are bullshit. So a lot of the times those reasons are fears and a lot of the time. Um, it's been in my experience that, you know, those fears are, they're just vibrations. They're not something, they're not part of, you know, they're not part of who that, who we are. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a lot of the, the reason, you know, and just to understand some of those, those bigger concepts, you know, the concepts that don't really get touched on a lot because they're, uh, like I say, because they're, they're frowned upon or, you know, or because they're, considered by the the people at large as a little bit you know they just don't understand those types of concepts and a lot of us um are going through these things especially at the moment and like i've explained in previous videos the we're going through a you know a one in thousands of years um let's just say uh backflip of of uh, in in the, from the directions that we've been heading, um, you know we've had, we have lived through our minds and we've been stuck in our minds and like I've said, um, our mind, our thoughts, um, ninety nine percent of those are based on past and future, and they're all learned. The thoughts are all learned, and um, if we don't know how to let those thoughts go, well, we can be stuck in in the past and the future. The fu the past is the is the pain of the. You know, it's usually generally shame and etc. You know, from from trauma etc. And then you've got the the fears that will not not to experience that trauma again, or basically you're afraid of feeling that shame. And what we don't know is if we allow that shame, um, without I guess, and stepping out of the the thought patterns that surround that shame, where well, we can release both, and we can just be present. We can just be here in the now.
and that's what the I guess what I would have to say is the secret of of life and where to start. Well, where where do you start? You start now. You start now. It's simple. Um, you know, and it's it's by acknowledging and acknowledging and looking exactly um, honestly at all of those little aspects um, and parts of your life of your and when I say your life well it all it all is it, it all uh, everything physical and, and energetic makes up life so we look at the energy so what's what's the energy saying they're your emotions and your thought patterns and your you know those types of things which the mind creates so you want to look at well what kind of thoughts are there etc you know do I want those thoughts well don't judge don't judge the thoughts or judge the emotional patterns because then you become you, you move into a state of resistance where life just fucking sucks you know and like you might have those thoughts and yeah they might be bullshit however the emotions that are there you they're, they're pretty strong and you'll feel those emotions and then those thoughts a lot of the times are telling you that you are that emotion and you're not emotions are just compressed thoughts simple and their resistance to the sub their resistance um, uh, in the subconscious mind usually triggered by a shit event a shit memory a trauma a you know those those types of things and it's not that we're afraid of um, the you know the, the thing might happen again whatever the thing was that originally caused the trauma and you may have experience this you've experienced the same sort of situation which is triggered a trauma in the you know when you're little you're a little um little child or or you know when you're younger and this time around well maybe it mightn't affect you as much and you might be able to let that go and and, and let go of the fears of experiencing that and resistance to it so basically create you know, in that same situation that created the trauma, well, or a similar situation which created a trauma, we can instead create beautiful memories to replace that. So then I guess you're not in so much resistance to that particular memory, that particular, you know, memory. And with a memory, we've attached an emotional emotion in, in how we felt during that time. And then all of a sudden, we don't want to feel like that. And we don't want to experience that again. So we decide to create all these stories around why we experienced it, for one. Well, maybe because we deserved it. Or, you know, or maybe because we um, weren't good enough. Or maybe because we, you know, just didn't quite make the cut. Or whatever the little stories are, it's, it's up to you to listen to those stories and decide, well, you know what? Well, they're just thoughts. And they were just ideas at the time, and a lot of the times, well, you may not have had somebody to support you and bring you through into a into a positive perspective on that situation. So, you could actually develop a sense of self through that particular situation and through that emotion. So every time that situation happens, it triggers the emotion, and then the thoughts start. You know, and then you decide, okay, well, this is who I am, and it's not. It's triggered. Well, I guess it it comes in cycles, doesn't it? So it's the subconscious mind is just like a, a flowing um, a flowing accumulation of different different um, different size cycles. I guess that's what the mind is. The mind is it just replays over and over and over again, doesn't it? It doesn't kind of know how to quiet itself. It doesn't, and that's up to you to learn that. You know, it doesn't know how to. Uh, I guess it's been been. I guess it's been a little bit misinformed over time. So it is up to us to let go of a lot of those thoughts and beliefs about ourselves and challenge challenge them, and not only challenge them but challenge the people around us who who don't believe in us, the people who fucking you know they don't see us exactly who, who we are for. Um, you know these. Uh, for the intelligence that we what we are they might not be able to appreciate you know the the, the beauty the um uh you know the expansiveness the 
you know, the absolute of, of who we are, the, the whole of who we are. And it's not their it's not their job to do it. And you know, there are people that that do appreciate um, the wholeness in who we are and, and you know, it doesn't mean because somebody uh, we don't you know, somebody doesn't appreciate the uh, you, you know, the, the true the real you, the true you, the you know, the unapologetic, you know, it might be loud, it might be crazy um, fun, um, you know, the wild at heart types, the ones that, that, uh, you know, they're very underappreciated, underappreciated, I should say. And a lot of the times from, from my personal experience and what I've seen and, and speaking to, to people and, and, and understanding, um, we've, there's very, very few people that haven't been through trauma and there's different types of um, let's just say stories that have come from those the same fucking trauma, you know. And, and this comes back to intimate relationships. So two people will come together, and on a larger perspective, it's it's up to the, you know, it's it's all of a matter. It's all a matter of timing. When the time's right, it it's that's when um, you know there's there's that that type of connection, and or an intimate connection and. Um, you know, we're there to work through these things. We're there to, we are there to trigger these things, um, so that we can let them go and, you know, to trigger up these, these things and, and to, can be painful, you know, so you, I guess you need to find somebody that, or allow someone into your life that, um, is deserving of you. So if, if you are, um, sensitive or, or you know you are aware of um, these emotional patterns etc and and you know you might not like them you know, and or you might not like those parts of yourself however a lot of the times those parts of yourself um, also feel neglected as well so you have to really look at well what kind of people am I attracting not so much um, uh, I guess trying to find somebody exactly it's well who's coming to me who, who what type of what type of people um, am I allowing into my life you know are they are they assholes you know are they assholes well do they just do they respect my boundaries well one of the most um, intimate things we can share in a intimate relationship is our intimacy so is our when I say our intimacy well that's our that's our secrets and that's our that's our, our deeper shit that's the deeper parts that's the parts that where, the, where we hold the shame that's the parts where we've been told we're not good enough that's the parts where you know that's the uh, those triggers and things you know the things that, that hurt me you know those things you should be able to share those things with, with a person and, and, and I guess when you when there I guess there's a person that is deserving of you they will respond to that they will um, they will appreciate that communication they will look at those things not as something that is negative but positive because they're going to help you aren't they and um, what I'm saying is is, is releasing those um, a lot of those stories that that are, are around those triggers and that pain, um, you know, where we come together to, to work on those things, you know, and I know that we've been told in relationships and, you know, a lot of those movies, etc., and things that, Disney movies, etc., or, you know, there's the, the happily ever after and there's the, the one and the only and, you know, there's all, they're all ideas and at the end of the day, we, we do, we do want to, um, you know, do we, we do want to meet those needs, and and there's second to none. The need of um, intimacy is is only trumped by you know the need to eat and the need to drink. Intimacy um, is is of utmost importance. Somebody that's going to to be there and and to be nurturing, you know. And if you don't have somebody to be there at the moment, well, it's 
on a, on a larger scale, on a soul level, um, on a bigger level, well, it's not your time yet. Because if you have asked, if you have, you you put the energy out there and you've um, engaged in those processes of asking um, for somebody that doesn't basically treat you like shit and actually respects you and and can appreciate who you are, well. They're not going to come straight away, aren't they? Maybe there's a possibility that you might have to move through some emotional things, or maybe you might have to um, basically learn to be a little bit independent, you know? Because if you want somebody who's going to be like that and, and, um, and I guess, healthier um, when it comes to the mind, I should say, or where you are in your life and are more of a match to you, well, you, you might have to possibly um, employ some patience. And you're like, let it go. If it's not here today, well, it might be here tomorrow. If it's not here tomorrow, well, maybe next week. You know, eventually, in the right time, when the timing's right, they'll they'll pop in. You know, and a lot of the times, it's in a, when you're in a place where, um, and it's widely known, you're in a place where you don't need them. However, you can appreciate them when they do turn up, and you can, uh, you know, you can engage in intimacy which is those conversations and and having those conversations with with that person and learning about them learning learn what hurts if they if they're, when they um you know they might want to share some of those things um that hurt them and you can look at it and say oh you know what that's yeah, you can look at those things and you can basically kind of help each other a little bit um, and be respectful and be empathetic. Em em empathetic. I'm not sure if that's a word, but is, I guess if you've, if you've understood what it, what it feels like to feel the way they are, well, you might show a little bit of empathy and, and respect towards the way they feel and possibly, you know, put some things in action that... Um, you know, in their favour, and and not not only uh, it's not it's not a one way street either, because uh, there is a lot of situations where it is um, the situa the the situation may be where where you need to uh, redirect some of your attention to you. You know, and if you if you're with the right person, they'll understand that. They'll just want you to to become the best person you can be. And you want them for that for them. So, um, I guess that's looking at just those different perspectives. And and you look at look at those things that those triggers and things. And say someone triggers, say your your, your partner or your your parents or whatever, someone who you're intimate with. Um, you know, you have a relationship with, and you can relate to. Um, triggers you well. It's always it's always um, intelligent to to bring yourself back to the now to bring yourself to the present moment because everything everything comes and originates from the present moment so whether there be a situation that somebody does something which triggers that pain right well there's you have choices from that place and there's always time to take a breath there's always time to be present and you can look at those thoughts and you can look at that that pain that's there and well the pain well what is the pain well was the pain what well, does the pain want to attack that person a lot of the time as well, if we care about that person, that pain, a lot of the times we can um, we can just allow that pain. And we can allow the body to release that, that pain. You know, and, and if I guess if we're we're in the right company and we can explain, look, I'm just hurting now. It's not something that you did. But something you did may have triggered it. However, it's not your fault. This is my responsibility. I, I take the responsibility. I don't want to project my pain onto others. I want to project my love onto them. And my appreciation. 
of my time. And they may respond to that. They may not. You may tell them to, to fucking leave. <laughs> you know, it, de it depends on um, what's, what's right for you. And your soul, you know, on that biggest perspective, the soul, if I wanted to put that into a physical reality, the soul is the now. The soul is ever guiding. The soul is not your thoughts. The soul is not your emotional patterns. The soul is the deeper you. And the parts of you, yeah, are those other parts. They are some of those thoughts and, um, you know, those emotional things. And, and you're not always going, they're not always going to be part of you. You know, there is a point where you, um, you may, you know, you may be ready to, to face the pain of that shit, to face those emotions, you know, to face those emotional um, patterns and you know you can let go of let go of the past let go of the stories that um, you have been taught around those emotions so and I can tell you this with absolute certainty that when the emotions triggered the thoughts that surround that emotion are bullshit absolute fucking bullshit so a lot of those thoughts will tell you, um, I deserve that. I deserve to be hurt. I deserve this and I was, you know, all that, those types of things where you deserve to be hurt. Well, that's bullshit, isn't it? Because anyone that cares truly about you is not going to be doing that, um, is not going to, uh, you know, be actively trying to trigger you. Though they will, and it's not about changing the other person either. You have to take that full responsibility of those triggers. It's about them respecting that int that those intimate parts, the hurt parts, and you know, with that, they respect those parts. Well, you know, they get to enjoy the the the, the other parts as well. So, we are both. We are fucking heaven and hell, and and we are both. It's as it's simple as that. It's just the resistance. Both of our personalities are. Both of our, let's just say, both of our polarities of our personality of the, of the mind break down into positive and negative. So we just have told ourselves the wrong story or have been told the wrong stories about, um, on a larger scale, I guess, our, our emotions. So shame was there, not to tell us who we are. So when we used to feel shamed and, and you know... Most of us were raised in this way where you felt shame and then you were scolded. You know, you were told you were bad. You told you were naughty or whatever the fuck it was. And what, so that was basically saying, well, you know what, you're, when you feel that shame, this is who you are. So, um, and I guess the truth of it is the shame is there to tell us who we're fucking not. Not who we are. It's there to tell us who we're not. Because we're not shame. We're not that low vibration. We, on the uh, on a higher perspective, um, to, be, to, to come into an ali alignment with our true self, our true self vibrates at a, at a high vibration. Our true, true self vibrates at the vibration of love, of peace, of acceptance. You know, of these, those types of, types of things. And whatever fucking rolls off your tongue... And runs through your mind that feels nice on a high vibration it, it resonates with you it doesn't um, you know if a, if a thought runs through your mind and triggers an emotion and you feel like shit well it's not it's not in alignment with who you are and it's not about resisting that or saying oh fuck I wish I was different no there's nothing wrong with who you are right now you've just Got to look at the uh, the larger perspective. You've just got some shit that possibly in this moment that you need to reevaluate. Need to look at. You need to maybe possibly consider letting go of that shit. And the soul, on that bigger, larger perspective, guides it. It brings everything that is needed for the the greater evolution of your consciousness. 
So zoom right out on a, on a on a larger perspective. As <clears throat> as the soul, as the consciousness, pure consciousness. If your body was to die, right? Say your body was to die, it was to get sick and die. And I guess there was the, there's the mind there. There's still that those thoughts and those 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 thoughts and stuff that are there. Um, you know that would kind of still be. You know it would still exist, or you know. But there's there's still the soul. There's still that presence that will be there when that's all gone. The presence is still there. You will still be here. On the larger perspective. So on the larger perspective, um, that that if that's your soul, that that presence knows what you want to experience in this lifetime, and it knows that you came to experience those uh, those polarities. You came to experience all that life had to give. Possibly you may have been experiencing the negative parts, the parts that don't resonate with with the uh, the truth of who you are so it's quite simple where are you now where what's happening now what thoughts are there what are you aware of right now where are you placing your awareness where are you choosing to place your awareness are you placing your awareness into the the thoughts, maybe you're feeling like shit right now. Maybe those thoughts are telling you that, you know, they might be telling you to stay away from people because people are shit. They may be telling you that you're no good. Maybe you don't want to hurt people. Maybe you don't, um, you know, these all these thoughts are all ideas and beliefs that we've, I guess we've kind of accumulated. And... Like I said, if it triggers that shame, well, the shame's there to tell you you're fucking not. Because we have nothing to be ashamed of. We are fucking infinite. We are infinite. Infinite in, in what we can create. We just haven't been shown yet. Because we haven't quite reached that point in your evolution up until fucking now. But we are expanding. We are learning um, how to drive these these tools that we've been given, I guess that the, the tools that exist within the soul, which is the body and the mind which exist within the soul. It's beyond any conceptual, um, conce conceptual explanation. You have to know it. And you're only know it now. You're never going to know it in the future. You're never going to but I guess the, those beliefs and those those thoughts and those things um, and those say you've got an emotion, you know those fears or anxiety, what people call it, anxiety and depression, it's the same thing. The they're just one's positive polarity and one's the negative, and they they run on the same, they feed off each other. So you look at bigger perspective. Well, where am I now? Where are my thoughts? Where am I physically? What stuff do I have? What people do I have in my life? And you look at all those things and you look at any of those things, any of those things in which where there is resistance to. Is there resistance to life? Is there resistance to the flow of life? Is there resistance to what you have been given? Is there resistance to what you have right fucking now? Because if you can't be grateful for what you have right now, I can tell you now, you won't vibrate in the frequency in which we, you will start to receive what you truly deserve. Because great uh, to be un to feel ungrateful is to believe that you are undeserving, and you deserve everything you fucking want. You deserve that partner that is going to treat you exactly the way you want to be treated, and we'll respect that, and we'll fucking love that. We'll love every single part of you. Just exactly the way you are. There is nothing you need to do. There is nothing you need to go and do for them. There is nothing you need to be or have or do. They will just love you for who you are, simple. And you will love you for who you are. Because if you love you for who you are first, you will attract somebody within the, who vibrates at that frequency, who vibrates, vibrates of the frequency 
of love. They vibrate that frequency. Therefore, you will not be in resistance to them if you are vibrating at that same frequency and you will allow them. You will say, okay, well, what are the possibilities? Well, you can have a look at the past. There's lots of doubt there. There's lots of pain. There's lots of hurt. And your heart's been broken and all of these things. And the heart breaks. And the heart can break is over and over and over and over and over again. The more the heart breaks, the stronger the heart gets. It's it's it, it goes against what we've been taught. And we don't want somebody that disrespects um, who we are in our heart. You know, however... If our, I guess, if, if we don't have that person in our life and our heart is breaking, well, it can it can break open and it can release, you know, it can re let's just say release that negativity and release those a lot of those uh, negative vibrations um, by being by ourselves. And this isn't just a conceptual idea. This is personal experience to to be in solitude and to be by yourself and to choose that and to let your heart let the heart break and and let this trust the soul trust the soul will does know what it's fucking doing you don't have to try and control everything and do everything and be everything you can just relax you can just let go of those a lot of some of those emotions you know the, and those fears that that tell you you need to hurry up and be something or be someone or be somewhere or have someone or whatever just fucking be just look at it look at it and question it and say look Fuck it. Maybe no one else, let's just say, wants me at the moment. Well, I want me. I want me. You know, and look at the soul and, you know, you can even, um, if you listen, because you can, I suppose you, you ask, you ask the questions and, and a lot of the times we, we don't have time to listen to the answers. We don't have time to look at the synchronicities or the the shit that's moving for us. It shit's moving for us. And if it's moving unconsciously, it's going to move us into directions of pain. But if it's moving in moving consciously, which means you are present during, you're you're here in this life, you've you've chosen to be here and experience it and look and you know, recognize that we are learning in every moment. And we can let go of even the thoughts, even the emotional patterns. We don't have to believe all those emotional patterns. Therefore, we have kind of, we become more resilient and more at peace with those those kind of emotional patterns. And a lot of people say, well, I can't believe they did that to you. All this sort of shit, you know, and that it happened. Right now, they're not doing it to you. Right now, you can be at peace and you can do something for yourself. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to hold on to the, I guess the um, you know the negativity around those things and negativity is isn't isn't something that I don't I don't really really like to use that word negativity a great deal because negativity the word in itself can be negative and that means that it can some people can say well right eh, well what I what's a negative emotion is it anger is it whatever it is and whatever emotions there in each moment is supposed to be there it's supposed to be there it's supposed to it's supposed to uh, teach us to listen because if we keep doing that things that hurt us and hurt our heart over and over and over over again and we're asking we're asking for that help or we're asking for, you know, if we're talking our higher self or our spirit guides or our, um, you know, relig religious beliefs, etc. The, the Buddha or the, um, you know, those, those things. And they all exist and it's Odin, you know, the, the fucking biker god or fucking whatever you want to call it. Whatever it is for you. It doesn't matter and no one can tell you otherwise because whatever it is for you, is for, it's for you. You know, we don't need to look outside of ourselves for for something to worship because look at us. If we really let go of the judgments that have been, you know, kind of placed in our minds and, and in our subconscious, um, in our energy, 
towards ourselves. Well, what's going to be there if we let go of that shit? Well, just the now. And when I say just the now, it's, it's the most precious thing you can have. It is the most precious experience you can have. You, In the now, we don't have to be in our head. We just be. We're just here. And everybody else, they, they might be around us trying to get us to, uh, to hurry up and get to the next place. However, we can move gracefully. We don't have to get up and, and bend to everybody else's expectations. Do we want to feel like shit and rush to the next thing? Well, do it. And experience the fucking pain of it. You know, and you can whinge and bitch and moan and complain about it. However, it was your responsibility. You didn't have to listen to that person. You know, if you want to chill, fucking chill. If you want to go, fucking go. If you want to do whatever you do. And not only you, but allow other people to do the same. If they're, when it comes to relationships, a lot of people, um, that's, that's soul things as well. We break, we come together when, when it's the right time and we also come, we all also, also separate at the right time. It's the resistance to it where we suffer. It's the stories that we tell ourselves why that person left because we were this and we were that. Oh, we were, um, you know, it's all our fault and it's all bullshit. You know, on the, on the larger perspective, the soul is ever expanding. The soul wants us to have 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 um, the best experience in relation to what we've asked for, and why we, I guess, why we're here. What are we here to experience? We want to experience life. We all of life is positive and negative. So you've experienced the negative. Well, now maybe it's time for the positive. So maybe the negative people are going to start falling away. Fucking let them go. And let the positive people in. Let go of the shitty ideas that you may have of yourself in which you don't deserve to be treated nicely or, you know, you don't deserve, um, you know, to, you know, to have, to excel or to, to grow or to, you know, to be popular or fucking whatever it is. You know, whatever your, your desire is and you've sent it out into the universe or um, God or Buddha or whatever, um, you know, your soul is where you send it and your soul is also you so your, your soul is also received it and also and putting in putting into motion everything you need in order to get to that thing that you're asking for the only thing you have to let go of is time let go of those ideas in which it needs to happen now it doesn't need to happen now right now what's happening whatever's happening is is what's happening it may happen tomorrow the thing you've asked for it may happen in a in a, in a month it's not your you don't need to try uh, to try and control that, or you don't need to um, be in resistance to the now because of that. You know, you might not have the partner of your dreams yet, or you might not have the, you know, friends or whatever it is. However, where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be in in the journey of the um, uh, ascension of your consciousness. Consciousness is evolution. Evolution moves. Evolution moves, and part of moving can be can be chilling. It's so, it's a doing thing. It is still something to do. We chill, we relax, we put it down, and that goes with the thoughts. It's just our minds, I guess. Our minds are kind of a little bit wired, you know. And there's things we call anxiety. And oh, I'm, I've got anxiety, and I'm not making fun, however. But the uh, you know, it becomes part of your identity, and when something becomes part of your identity, you believe that is you. However, you look at anxiety, and what is anxiety? Anxiety is resistance to the fucking now. So, a lot of the times, a lot of us are sensitive as well. We can pick up other people's energy. So, if you're sitting there pretty chilled, and you start to feel anxious, and there's somebody around you that is just, you know, kind of coming into, or they, they possibly, you know, could be on their fucking way, and you might be that sensitive. You can you can you can feel that, and you can take that upon yourself as part of your identity. Well, a lot of times it can be their shit. A lot of times that's their energy you're feeling. And you don't have to take it on. That's their shit. Let them be anxious. Let them do what they want. You can just be in the now. Be within. Be within yourself. You know and. There's a lot of ways to be within, and the best way to be within is just to be present and put our attention on what's right here. 
and the thoughts they come through and you can look at them they might be oh you're, you're useless no I'm fucking not thought you can look at the thoughts okay so there's that pattern there it goes and they, it's gone and there could possibly an emotion that could possibly come up and you'll feel shame and then the thought comes past yep so there's the shame now do you feel useless now there's the this the little story well this is why you why this is why you're useless because you don't have a good job not because your car's not fucking blue or your car's not shiny enough or whatever the fuck it is so any of those thoughts that pull you away from oh, i guess you now and put you in a, a state of resistance to what's what you have they make you suffer don't they and you can you, you've got the choice you can put your attention elsewhere you know you can put your attention everything's provided where we can put our attention we just choose to put it there we put it we put it in those thoughts we believe the shit and i'll tell you now that if you are on this path and you are willing to to let go of those, those thoughts well it does follow i guess um a cycle in a cycle those thoughts will cycle and then there will be an emotional trigger and then the trigger gives you a choice well do i want to feed that that emotion do i want to feed the anger do i want to feed the the shit with the story or do i just just want to express okay i feel i feel angry to whoever that person is like, i feel angry and like for what you did that it it triggered so if they're going to be respective to uh, respectful to that they will they'll understand and they'll say okay well all right so we'll have a chat about it or you know we might work work another way in which um there could be a, a better more comfortable way however there is a chance there is those uh, situations where people don't give two fucks so you've got to either you've only got two choices uh three choices sorry and you can obviously you can you can remove yourself um you can speak up you can say something to them you can tell them to fuck off if you need to you can tell them to they're they're you know they're disrespectful and if they're they are disrespectful still well they might have to be removed or you can accept it fully accept fully that they've triggered that anger and that's yours that's your when i say yours well that's yours to uh to release it's your choice you can you can act on it you can react which will feed their shit as well or you can respond which is you respond in, in which any way you would like to respond there is no right and wrong and they can't tell you what's right and wrong so if they try to well you've got to recognize that that's controlling behavior you know and the only person that has control over you is you the only person that can give control over you to somebody else is you you have to recognize when other people are you know trying to trying to trigger that controlling those controlling behaviors and not being respectful and to regain control is quite simple let go of it all let go of the uh let go of the pain it'll trigger the fuck out of them you know it, it might trigger them you know if, if they're that type if they're that controlling type it will trigger them and they will you know they feel like they'll feel like they're not in control and they're losing control therefore they will attack you know, and then that's 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 your choice in which uh, how you respond to that. The most important thing to remember is to be now. Be the now, because how can you be anywhere else? Those thoughts of the future happen now. Those those fears of the future that may never fucking happen happen now. And you, the, I guess the they're all based on those traumas on the past. And the past is gone. The past isn't here now. You may feel like you're in the past because of the trigger of the, the emotional pattern. But however, you're still here now. And you can, I guess, trust. Trust in that higher self. Trust in the, the soul. Um, this is where you're supposed to be, unfortunately. If it hurts, well, it's... It has to, it's hurting for a reason it's it's making you stronger it's if you're hurting by yourself well you know there's there's a lot of different 
avenues you can take there. You can be with that. Um, you can be with that kind of hurt and allow it your body to release it. Your body knows how, your soul knows how to regain control. And this is what is this is what this is about. The uh the it's just change of management. The management I guess you could say used to be the trying to control everything and, and is the mind, right? The mind and it's judgmental and it's uh you know, the little thoughts pop in, they're judging you and then they're judging other people and then they're judging that situation and then they're judging this and judging that. They're constantly the analytical mind and the analytical mind is is uh is has been taught so you know you don't have to believe everything the 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 mind the mind kind of wants you to to believe you can just just be just be now Just listen, listen to the sounds without judgment. Listen to any um, any sounds. There might be people talking without judgment. There might be the kids screaming. Without judgment, it's not going to hurt you to do that. The world's not going to fucking end if you do that. Maybe the opposite might happen. Maybe your world might expand. Maybe you might recognize that. <sighs> My responsibility. And my only control, the only control I have is to be now. Is to be in the now fully. Fully engaged in the here and the now. You know, express those emotions. And like I said, if, if, they're, if they're not received, or they're not respected, there's, you make those choices. Somebody that, um, I guess, has empathy, and has experienced and allowed themselves to, uh, I guess, feel a lot of those emotions, will understand that, those things are to be worked through and they are to be met with compassion and, and those are the types of people I guess you want around you. Those people that want to vibrate at a high vibration. However, if you're not vibrating in a high vibration and you're you know you're in a lower state, well they'll still not judge you. They'll still fucking love you. They'll still I guess um you know, support or etc. You know, and I'm not talking about intimate relationships. I'm talking about, you know, um, people in general being able to relate to those parts of themselves so that they can have an understanding of how you're feeling and be respectful towards that. Because a lot of the times... Um, those triggers are a way that our soul guides us to release those things. Because when we've suffered enough and we've felt enough fear and we've lived in a toxic state for long enough, we do decide to get the fuck up. Get up and move. You know, we do decide to, it might be to move in whatever direction. It, it just move. Move away from somebody or move towards somebody that... You know, maybe um, there's possibilities that there are people that will receive you however you are. And maybe they've been looking for somebody that will receive them however they are. You know, and be honest about things. Well, when it comes to, I guess, certain ideas we have of ourselves when those triggers are triggered there can be behaviors that come of that well look at the behaviors are the behaviors moving toward more pain are they moving toward more suffering 
are they moving towards more um, hurt? And you're responsible within your own life. You can only experience your life. Nobody else can. And if they don't understand, they don't understand. It's not for them. And it's more important that you are moving in, into a healthy direction for yourself. The right person for you will respect that, regardless of what that is. Because we have no, let's just say, control over other people. Nor do we want to. And people do not, I guess, need to be changed. Um, and a lot of those patterns can be, well, if that person would change, I would feel better about my life. You know, and that's controlling behavior. That is, it's a subconscious belief that, okay, so I feel this way, I feel like shit about myself. If that person would do this for me, well, then I would feel better about myself. And then you place that, excuse me, unrealistic expectation on somebody that may not have that capability or they may not be in a place where they can provide that type of uh, whatever it is you need. So it's about learning to fulfill your own needs and to recognize recognize and learn more about yourself and become a lot more accepting and willing to be with yourself however you are however you're feeling you know and um it's quite simple there is no such thing as perfection there is no um there is not a single fucking person on this planet that is perfect um when i say perfect well is you know is uh it's not possible to to reach that level of perfection in which some people want and some people want their partners to reach you can only look at everybody as um as they are right now and if they have imperfect things well we can look at well what is the control I have over myself in this situation? Can I, well, what is the trigger and what is the emotion? And what is the story that, that I'm telling myself about the emotion? Well, you know, a lot of the times other people aren't responsible for how we feel. And we need to take that responsibility. We need to take responsibility so when the anger is triggered and it's because of somebody else done something. Well, the, re the reaction is going to be the reaction, whatever that may be. However, there, there can be a time where you can look and, not, recognize, look and recognize that as a reaction of hate. If you've transmuted um, anger, the emotion of anger, into a negative uh, reaction, which can be hate. It's all learned. Hate is learned. Our, our, um, you know, our, what's the word, the, um, the truth of who we are, the, the, the depth of who we are, is love. So we can, and when I say love, it doesn't mean you need to go over and, uh, you know, project yourself lovingly to that person who you know is doing something that has triggered that I'm saying well you can love is um, can bring in a, a new understanding to love and love quite simply is presence is understanding is to let go of the thoughts is to allow yourself to live through your heart and to uh you know, to maintain maintain maybe a, a sense of compassion and understanding for you know how you react could trigger within that person some pain and you could spare them some that uh, the trigger of that pain and in saying that, you know, it can be it can be helpful to distance yourself as well. So and like I say, there's not 
I only give my opinion and and my perspective of, of, of my um, particular experience and everybody has their own experience everybody has their own guidance systems everybody has their own their soul brings shit to them in different ways and it's about listening be present is you might miss the signs you might miss what your soul or the universe is is trying to show you you know you might be throwing away um, opportunities you know, out of fear or um, you know, out of uh, just those um, those triggered, uh, you know, traumatic um, experiences. So. It's, it's just about slowing down. Um, slowing down and looking at the parts, looking at the pieces of the puzzle, not judging the pieces of the puzzle. And understanding that there is a, there is a, wider, uh, a larger perspective and um, your soul wants to, wants to uh, wants you to know yourself on a deeper level and your soul if you if it was a physical manifestation your soul your soul creates physically yeah and moves things physically for you and brings in nice thoughts uh, new thoughts uh, epiphanies and ideas and things you know that's when you know that you're you're present because those things start rolling in possibilities uh, the truth of who you are, you know, the um, the passion, the the vibrancy, the you know those types of ideas that, that get you up and, and fire you and want you know they they drive you those you know those types of um, thoughts. Well, they resonate. They resonate with the the physical apparatuses and the the body and the the mind. They resonate. They they vibrate at a frequency in which there is no resistance. And when there is no resistance to yourself, there is no resistance to the present moment. When there is no resistance to the present moment, there's that experience that you've been looking for. And that experience that you've been looking for is not in the future. It's now. It's now the peace you've been seeking, the the ability to let go of the negativity or the negative thoughts, um, the ability to just take a breath, just enjoy it for a little bit, even if it is only a few moments, or you know you might choose to enjoy it longer. It's all choice. That's the beauty of what the soul is. It is all fucking choice. It is all ours. It is we already have everything we possibly could want and it's right in front of us we just we just uh you know we we haven't learned to to feel appreciation um for a lot of those those things and those people around us because of the uh i guess the the analytical mind the judgments and don't get you know too uh you know too judgmental towards the analytical analytical mind it's just there and it, it fades and some of the things that do cross the mind that um, have been put there by you know other people that um, you know maybe didn't want to see us succeed or didn't want to see us because then they it kind of uh, it might um, highlight the fact that they um, you know they have a need to be better, feel better than you, etc. And it might it might not be the truth. You know, you might you may be a lot better um, than those types of people. And unfortunately, um, there is a lot of ideas around being better than somebody or not being better than, or you think you're better than me type shit. Well, sometimes you fucking are better than those people. It's as simple as fucking that. It's discernment, and there's nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you need to tell people, look, 
or not even waste your breath. And then there are other times where there are some type of people and that you know that they do think that they're better than you and they're fucking, you know, if they do think that they're better than you, well, it's probably more of a, uh, an ego thing or it's more of a, uh, uh, their, their need um, to feel like they're more than somebody else so they need to make uh, they need to do things that trigger other people to believe that they are less we don't have any any control over those types of people however we do have control over whether we want to believe that we are less because we're fucking not you can look at it from the perspective if it helps if it's helpful that maybe okay well everybody's created equal well that's that's true in 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 a certain um, in certain ways, we all do feel um, pain. Some of us deny it and lie about it, and and uh, you know, and inflict more on others to make us feel good um, and to cover up the pain. And there are the other, the other, the other people that just cop the pain, just take it, just take it, just take it, just take it, just take it. Because why? Because I deserve it, or because I fucking whatever the story is that you've told yourself, or what they're trying to get you to believe, but. Um, you know, and that shame can be transmuted into anger, and anger is not negative. Anger is there to fucking protect us from pe when we need to be protected. Sometimes it's it's quite simply. Well, you've just got to look at each moment, and where am I? Am I in a position where I feel angry, and I am being assertive, and I am speaking up for myself, and I am standing up for other people who deserve it, or I am, I guess, speaking, uh, calling those people out that that are doing these manipulative fucking things, you know, and not not holding any sympathy towards those people. You can have empathy because you know that's going to trigger their fucking, um, it's going to trigger their egos. And yeah, they, they may go and, you know, try and um, complain to everybody they can about you because you hurt, uh, because you're an asshole, etc. or whatever it is. However, you have to look at the, the bigger picture you know, and where you, how you feel in that moment, those emotions can be transmuted. So you can give yourself a new story around those emotions. You don't have to suffer the emotions. You can, you can use whatever emotion is present in your favor. And if other people, I guess, are triggering things to make you feel bad about yourself, well, that's shame. So that's telling you that those people, well, Let's just take away the judgment from those people. But you look at yourself, and there's the there's the shame. Shame's bullshit. Shame's bullshit, and it's it's there for a reason. It's there to tell you who you're not. So, if you don't react in the in the way that your I guess your head's telling you to react, which may be, oh, I need to feel bad about myself. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm a piece of shit. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't breathe. You know, all that sort of shit, and put your head down and put yourself into those patterns. Well, you can look at look at things from a different perspective. Okay, so that person's cover is they're trying to trying to trigger you to feel bad about yourself, and they're just triggering that trauma to feel bad about yourself. You don't need to feel bad about yourself. You know, to that extent where you take yourself down into the fucking depths and 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 you know um, hide yourself from the world and be ashamed of yourself and tell yourself that. Um, you know, that person was warranted to treat you like that. Well, no, it's, and it's not up to them. They may never apologize or anything. It's up to you to say, well, you know what? I don't want people around me that, that, that trigger that at the moment. Well, maybe they, um, I will later because, because I'll be able to recognize that those, a lot of those thoughts are bullshit that, that come up when that trigger or that shame is, is, is present. However, you could look at that shame as like a signal that you get stuck in your head again. You've gotten stuck in your head again about yourself. And you're stuck in your head about them as well. You might see them as the greatest thing since sliced bread. They might be the biggest piece of shit in the fucking world underneath. And they might, you know, secretly be manipulative and, and all these types of things. And, you know, so you can look at those types of judgments as well around other people. Because you're the best thing since sliced fucking bread. You are. And this is half the issue. They think it, yeah, but you need to know it. It's not about thinking it like them and they need to maintain those thoughts. They need to fucking do things and control people and manipulate, enable uh, 
to be able to uh, to let's just say carry on the way that that they think, yeah, to believe that what they believe about themselves that they are more superior. You have to recognise those things and recognise that you know you're not less. You're not uh, you're not the shame. You're not the stories that you're telling yourself around the shame. You don't deserve that. And it's it's quite simple and and you know transmute that fucking shame into anger. You know don't feel ashamed of how it how however it comes out. As long as you're present with what however it, it happens, it's almost like the uh, it can happen kind of it's the flow of life flowing through you. And a lot of the times your soul will distance you from from uh, the things that aren't going to get you what you've asked for. So. You might ask for, okay, so I want, I want to be successful in my business. I want to have a, you know, a beautiful person in my life that respects me and and understands that those those parts that of me that still need to um that still hurt and still you know my heart is healing or whatever the fuck it might be, the truth of it, whatever it is for you, and surrender it. You know, um. Like I've mentioned before, Dr. Joe Dispenza, he's got lots of books that you can read to teach you how to, I guess, understand the, the truth of it and then, you know, to like um, sit there and refocus your attention and recreate, um, you know, within the mind, a new story and a story that you want. Um, recreate the, the type of people that you want to meet, the type of situations that you want to have and, you know, those shitty situations that you don't like, well you're discerning towards them you're like no fuck that I don't want that shit I don't want that type of people in my life I want to be respected and I want to be supported and I fucking deserve it you know so those types of things they're more they're things that are going to flow through your body and your mind and your those beliefs well those knowings I'm going to say beliefs I'm going to say knowings because when you know that there's nothing and there is nobody that can convince you otherwise there's nothing that can say that oh, you deserve to be treated um less than how you want to be treated because there's uh there's 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 ways that we want to be treated in life there is also people out there that want to treat us like that and you have to understand that and there's then there's also there's the the limited perspective of the time in which is between that in which you don't want until you receive that in which you you do want you know or that person, or that that thing, or that new job, or whatever it is. If you want to be fucking, um, you know, you want your, your your business to skyrocket, or you want more money, or whatever it is, and you ask for it, it's you know, and you do it in the the proper way, and you use your mind to create as it is intended, and then you surrender it. You surrender it to the fucking universe or whatever, and you just listen, and you can allow yourself to receive it. And if you don't receive it, well, there's possibly some things that might be there that you are, uh, there's still some beliefs there where in which you don't believe you quite deserve it yet. Because that's the only thing that stops you from getting what you want, is, those, is just those energetic patterns. And you can ask for something, however your subconscious mind and the past is wired up to resist that because you don't deserve it or you aren't good enough yet or you're fucking you don't look the way you want to look or you're fucking not perfect yet or whatever the story is well, you're not going to get what you want are you because you're going to be sabotaging yourself so you have to really look at well what's the fucking reality of it how does my face look how does my body look how does my fucking car look how does my partner look and stop judging you have to look at the judgments of the of the mind and look at them for what they are they're just the past they're just fears you know, and if we're, you know, we're able to be present, like I've shown you, you put your attention into the now and listen, listen, and feel. And breathe. Whatever gets you there. Do things that make you feel present. Do things that keep you fucking here. Because if you do it intentionally, 
to to step out of the mind and step out of the head and step into the now, step into the physical reality. Um, you, your body doesn't quite look the way it, it, you want it to look, you know. Don't sit there judging it. Or don't listen to the thoughts that judge it. Well, you may not quite want to get up. You're not ready to, to get up and, and start to change it today. But do something small. Push through those emotions. No, that's just going to be shame. And those, those triggers of shame. And the shame is not you. So you can move in those directions through the shame. In the shame. With no one around. By your fucking self. Move in those directions you want to do. Get on whatever and, and buy yourself something cool that, or, or, or go and, um, you know, if, if, it's, if, to, if it's to improve your body, well, look, research things, you know, or whatever it is. Take action towards something that you, you know, you desire and you'll quite simply create it. That's how powerful we are. We just don't recognize that. And it's, it is those, those past traumas and things that say, oh, I can't do it. I'll never have it. I'll never have a better a better body what i'm saying is um you know also um it goes for sickness as well so I'll, i might do another video on that and 